Evening folks and welcome to this demonstration of my Casio GG9 golf game watch. So this is a watch from 1984 and um, as you can see once I get it off uh, it has a golf game on it. Um, so on the main display here you've got the sort of game arena at the, in the green bit there, uh, the buttons for it and at the top you've got the time and uh, you've also got the mode indicator here. And this is kind of um, a bit of a halfway house between um, sort of earlier Casio game watches. So they were called Game Something or Other. Uh, and they had the, the game window and had the mode indicator uh, as well as the time. And then the later ones, which um, shared the case shape of the GG9, uh, such as this GD8, uh, they kind of um, did away with the, um, the mode indicator and, and to create more space for the great game screen the game area um, and this in, in fact is a, it's slightly better in some ways because um, as well as the time there if you press that button you get the day and the date and the month where on this one uh, no such luck I'm afraid so a bit more timekeeping functionality um, but maybe not such a good game so let's have a look at the functions and features uh, you've got an adjust button and a mode button so we're in time mode here as you saw that does the date no light on this watch and uh, that shows you the alarm time um, and to go set the alarm you go into there and you uh, use the set button set it and these buttons and then that's uh, the alarm on hourly chime both on both off um, you, then you've got a chronograph mode fairly standard functionality there start stop and reset uh, then you've got a golf counter. So this is a feature, actually a useful feature for golfers. It allows you to count the number of strokes for, for each of your hole that you've taken. And um, so you say, okay, you're doing your first hole. Um, I've taken one, two, three shots. And then I've managed to get it in in four. I move on to my second hole. And you'll see that resets to zero. That's your total strokes and that's the strokes on your current hole so hole two that's three strokes so i've got it in three uh, and you get the idea and the good thing about that is if you change mode it remembers your uh your golf strokes and to actually reset it you have to press the, the uh, set button and that resets it zero so doesn't forget that for you. Actually useful for golfers, that feature. And then finally, the bit you've all been waiting for is the game. So um, I must warn you, it is rather an infuriating game. And it's, I don't know why they've done it this way. It's, it's very difficult to play unless I'm doing something wrong, in which case, please do tell me in the comments below. So um, what you've got here is the, it's the first hole. It's a par four, I think it said it was. It's 350 yards. Here's my little golfer. That's presumably the clubhouse, some trees, and that is the green all the way down there. And it's you've got the ball, that's the sort of ball, ball direction indicator, and it's pointing straight at the green, which you do from when you're teeing off, but later on you have to change it. Um, so there's no aiming required for this first shot. So you've got various different clubs. You've got sand wedge, pitching wedge, nine iron, seven iron, five iron, three iron, and a driving wedge, wedge one. So basically you select the wedge one because it's 350 yards long distance and you can play your shot. And uh, that's gone about 200 yards in generally the right direction. And you can see the little ball is flashing between those two points and you change the direction by pressing this button. So you can basically go in pretty much well, well, one of eight directions, not pretty much any direction, but um, you can pick a direction. I think that one sort of gets hits will hit the green. So once you've picked your direction, you select your club again. So it's 155 yards or meters or whatever it is. Um, so I'm gonna probably want a five or even a. I'm gonna go with a five iron for this one. Oh blimey! Amazing. That is the best I've ever done on this game, onto the green in two. So as you can see here, I am right by the hole 
and uh, I'm pointed in exactly the right direction. Uh, so um, it's kind of zoomed in as it were. So this is now the hole with the pin in rather than being the green with the pin in. And um, you can still aim, change direction. But obviously I want to go straight at the hole. And again, you've got different putting power. So as you can see, the little man's club uh, goes up and the further up you have it, the harder he'll hit it. Uh, but obviously we're right next to the hole. So we're just going to give it one little stroke of power there, as it were. So let's see if that goes in. Of course it doesn't. Uh, so it's, it takes me on average about 15 shots to get a sinker ball in. The ball just doesn't want go where you want it to go quite often. Or it just goes way too far. So let's just aim it at the pin again. I'm going to go with just a little bit of club or putting power. And it's gone straight across. Not much more I could have done to get it on course there. So let's just uh, try that again from here. And bounced out again. So pick a direction. So you'd think it would be quite easy to get it in from this sort of distance, wouldn't you? Um, but that won't be the case. Nope. <laughs> oh, probably that first of those two, doesn't it? It's closer. As you see, some positions of the ball, you never the, the line of the ball never actually goes through the hole. So we'll just have to hope for the best here. So if, I'll try not putting any power on it at all, see what happens. Oh, press the wrong button there. No power here, let's just hit hope. Oh, and it's gone completely different direction. Just like real golf really, isn't it? Uh, there we go. But it's, it probably if I was playing this for real, it would take me this many shots to get it in. I'm not a golfer. So right, we've got the right direction. Got a little bit of putting power, or no putting power. Let's just try it. Doesn't seem to make a lot of difference, to be honest. Uh, between no and one uh, putting power. Get the right direction. Looks about right. Oh, no. Just keep trying. And there's no perfect direction there, is there? That didn't even go in the direction I was hitting it, was it? Dear, oh dear. Well, that's going through it. Let's give it a go. Oh, completely different direction again. Even though I'm not that bad in real life. I think that's about as good as we're going to get. Direction-wise. And again, went off in a different direction. Yay! One hole in 13. So that's hole one, 13, and now into hole two. And I think it's the same set of holes each time. So the first one's always 350 yards, the second one's always 159 yards. But if I'm honest, I haven't had the patience to play the hundreds of shots it would require to play all nine, nine holes. But I'll, I'll just um, tee off from this one and see where we land. So I'm going to, it's 159 yards from a tee. I've just been checking direction, haven't I? Um, what club do you reckon? One of the irons. Five iron. I'm going to go three iron. Should have gone five iron. <laughs> oh, so it's ended up on the other side of the green. These things are bunkers here, so I must try and get in a bunker. So you can see what happens when you get in a bunker. Right. I'm going to select a pitching wedge. It's only a short. Oh, didn't even, didn't even get me into the bunker. Let's 
try across this one and try and hit that bunker on the other side. The minimum distance it seems to knock it, even on a sand wedge or pitching wedge, is about 50 yards. Let's just try that and see what happens. Oh, it didn't even go in that direction, did it? Let's try and get it, get it in this bunker over here. Oh, well, as you can see, it's not really going in the right direction at all. So I'm going to give up there because I've wasted enough of your, you good people's time. So that's it. The GG9 Golf Game Watch from Casio from 1984. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, rather infuriating game. Um, they are probably the cheapest of um, the Casio watch games available. And it's probably because um, the game itself isn't that good. But it has got that useful function of the, the golf counter. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it and see you soon.